Honduran curly hair tarantula. This one is one that I picked up last month from a guy here in town who was going out of the business, the hobby, and moving to Texas where he was originally from. And I picked um, this one up with a Lazadora Parahibana and also an Afoma Pelma Hensai. Um, so this one's been in pre-molt and this is the burrow. Um, this is yet unsexed. And I just discovered today that this little one has molted. So let's take a look inside the burrow and, and see what we can find. So you can see um, this little curly hair actually has hair now. Um, I will insert a photograph and show you what it looked like right before the molt. It was um, a pretty plain brown little spider uh, without much uh, hair on it at all. There is a difference between the Honduran curly hair and the Nicaraguan curly hair, but I don't see any difference in their um, name. So the, the scientific name is still um, is still the same. It's the um, albopelosum, the Brachypelma albopelosum. Only they distinguish it by saying Honduran or Nicaraguan. And the Nicaraguan has what appears to be thicker, curlier hair. And I do not have that, that uh, tarantula. I have the Honduran form. Okay, I gotta be very careful. Reach in here, try to get a good angle and not bump the camera and not scare the spood. Okay, this looks like a very um, nice molt. So here we go. What we're looking at a little molt. And you can see there wasn't a lot of hair on this little one. And I don't know if it's large enough to sex, but you know, I'll try. Pretty little freshly molted Brachypelma albopelosum. And uh, I've noticed that, that when a lot of the tarantulas are freshly molted, they, they look blue. And this is their, their fresh exoskeleton. It's like being reborn and their skin has to, their exoskeleton has to harden. So um, the blue tint goes away. So this Brachypelma albopelosum is not a blue tarantula. Um, and in a few days we'll be able to see um, this little one eat and what the new clothes look like. The other um, maintenance I'm going to do while I'm in here is replace this uh, bottle cap water dish with one of these. And this can hold a lot more water, um, it doesn't evaporate as much, and you know, as you can see, I am using a critter keeper. One thing about the critter keepers is they don't hold moisture very well, so what I have done is purchased some black, and you can choose any color you want, they have all kinds of fancy colors, duct tape. I have taped the top, and I will show you that in a minute. Let's fill up this water dish here. So this is how I've taped it around the top and then I, I left the sides open for ventilation. And that's holding it a lot better because the water dish was just evaporating, I mean, very quickly, like within the day. While we're looking at this cutie who's in recovery, I will do a couple shout outs. The first one is to Norvis Eight-Legged Critters. They have a YouTube channel. They're almost to a thousand subscribers. Um, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. Um, and they have a, a brand new uh, video that they just uploaded today. And it's a rehouse of my Formictopus cancerides, the Haitian brown. And 
For anyone who knows about the Formictibus cancerides, it is not a boring spider, not a boring tarantula. You hear the name Haitian brown, another brown tarantula. Nope, nope. This one actually has a beautiful sheen to it and it is exciting, usually exciting. So go check out this, this rehouse of the Formictibus cancerides at Norvis's site, Norvis Eight-Legged Critters and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Another shout out today goes to Basin79 and Basin79 has a lot of tarantulas, uh, he has lizards, he has a beautiful house spider that he um, captured where he lives in the UK and he features feeding videos. He has a beautiful Carabina Versicolor and his photographs are amazing. He'll show you beautiful video footage and then he'll show you snapshots of, well, they're beautiful photographs of his, his tarantulas. And yeah, they're just, they're just beautiful. And you know, he, he's, he's really charming. I love the way that he, he talks to his animals and he has a lot of different animals. He has a salamander named Stheno and he has Typhon and Heaton. Those are his dogs. And I think he has snakes. He has um, Cytala horrida, which is a, a type of predatory beetle. And so uh, mantises, yeah, I really, I really recommend him highly. So go check him out. Another up and coming channel that I'd like to introduce you to is uh, Winton Knight. His YouTube channel is called Winton Knight. He has about 250 subscribers right now, um, but he definitely deserves a lot more. He is, uh, he just completed his tarantula tag. He lives in Australia. He caught a, a, a huntsman recently. He's just amazing and his personality is great. The filming is stellar. He has centipedes, he has wolf spiders, he has um, some tarantulas, there's a pet funnel web. Just, just go check him out. Hope you enjoy these three channels. Thank you for watching.